So how did I get this information? I used the USDA Nutrient Database, the food list actually within it. See, there we go. We click here, and this is what it looks like. It's just a search engine database with all sorts of foods. How did I get there? Well, if I even go to Google and look up USDA Nutrient Database, you could see the food list is one of the first options, but there are other options if you want to explore. And here I am. So I looked at it and said, say they want to know what this means, four grams in peanut butter, four grams across a week. Basic smooth style with salt. Well, we can see here that the first column always gives us value per 100 grams. Well, if I want to see what the value looks like for 4 grams, I know it's going to be 4% of 100 grams. So there we go. 0.04 gives us 4 grams, and this is what the nutrient content looks like. I move on to the next measurable lane. So 2 tablespoons of peanut butter is 32 grams. So if I wanted to get that down to 4, well, I know 4 times 8 is 32, so an eighth of this. So a quarter of a tablespoon gives me 4 grams. Well, I already know, and you know too, that 4 teaspoons makes a tablespoon. So 1 teaspoon is 4 grams. So if you wanted to do this with another food, we'll go to a food search. And let's say you wanted to do this with someone who's interested in eggs. Let's go to basic egg whole cooked scrambled. Great. OK, so again, we want 4 grams of egg. What does that look like? Well, it gives us about 6 calories. OK, I could look at a large egg, but what we're going to start seeing is like, well, 7% of that large egg, and it, it, it won't make sense. So let's go to measurable amounts. In one tablespoon, we get about 14 grams of egg. So how do we get it down to four? Well, we're going to want to divide this by three, basically, and see where that gives us. That's about four. It's a third of a tablespoon across a week.